for dear viewers, um, yes, yes uh, the head teacher of Wisdom Center in Gesera, that's the Karumuna. Uh, we come again, come again back today, yes, that we go on with our activities as last time we're looking at. So uh, this time specifically, we want to look at uh, uh, classifying animals according to their reproductive modes. Just a reminder, last time we classified animals basing on uh, the feeding modes, locomotion modes. Yes, uh, for this time, let us look at uh, classifying animals according to their reproductive modes. Yes, we are talking about classification of animals according to their reproductive modes. Uh, majorly, if you are to understand the, uh, the way how animals produce, you need to look at them. So here, we can see, uh, look at a tiger here. You can see I've got young ones here. I've got a young one here. Look at a frog here. Um, look at a the human, a human, a human being here. A mother having a baby, feeding a baby. Yes, look at a hen here. Yes, with its chicks. Look at a dog here with a puppy. Uh, we can, yes, look at a snake also. See, these are its eggs here. Yes, so uh, looking at all these animals, we can simply see how do animals, yes, reproduce. We classify them according to their reproductive modes. Uh, uh, as we move on, yes, we shall uh, actually check following up the other diagrams, uh, the other animals of the scene. We first ask ourselves, which animals lay eggs as we move back, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, from... Yes, from our chart here, yes. Here we can see, uh, we can see a snake here, lays eggs, okay. Uh, look at, uh, yes, a hen, yes, these chicks, okay. Yeah, there were eggs that had to hatch in two chicks. So these lay eggs, uh, come on, look at a frog also, a frog lays eggs, okay. Uh, yes, uh, if we move back, yes, to number two, we asked which animals give birth the young one to yet to which animals give birth to the young ones? Yes, we can check still uh, looking at these animals. Heck, if you look at a tiger here, tigers give birth to the young ones. Look at a mother here, human beings give birth to the young ones. Okay, look at a puppy here. Okay, yes, so, so as we go on, we are going to see how we can classify these animals specifically. Uh, so with this, can give us a basis of classifying animals. There are some animals, we shall see that for them, uh, they are, uh, the eggs hatch inside the body and are, are kept or remain there, okay, for protection through their development. So this is going to take us uh, the reproductive modes here. But before that, we need to know properly from the diagrams, from the animals we've been seeing, we need to understand uh, our uh, simple about reproduction. Uh, from primal five, yes, because this is primary six, so we, we are looking at this work. Okay. In primary five, we look at reproduction. Okay? Yes. In primary five, we define reproduction uh, with the teachers you had, I remember that time, you defined uh, uh, as the uh, uh, way by which living things increase in number. Yes? Uh, somebody can define different ways. Some people can define uh, 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 reproduction, yes, as a process by which living things, or we can say, oh, okay, yes, yeah, living things uh, produce young ones of a similar kind. That's why you find that uh, if, it's a, if, if, if it's a mango plant, you'll only find mangoes. You don't find oranges. If they are human beings, yes, you won't find that. Uh, you won't find uh, reptiles. You won't find that. Uh, uh, bearing, bearing amphibians, they will be human beings. So simply you can see reproduction is the process by which living things uh, produce young ones of a similar kind. So uh, in this way, yes, we define that in the primary five. That gives us a basis to classify animals basing their reproductive modes. Reproductive modes we mean just ways how animals produce. Majorly, there are three ways which we can look at uh, the way animals produce. Let us look at uh, the first way. Okay. 
we say if you are talk of modes of reproduction okay yeah these are three ways of these are three ways through which animals produce or reproduce we have the first way uh, we can classify the, uh, these animals as viviparous viviparous Very good. We pass animals, we are going to simply say that these animals give birth to their young ones alive. Okay, you can say, we pass animals that produce. Let's produce their young ones. Alive. Yeah. So simply, we are saying that uh, we are to group, if we are to group animals, basing on the three reproductive modes. We find that, uh, uh, yes, we have some animals that will give birth to the young ones. Okay? Yes. If you go back which hat to which can help us to get properly uh, these animals yes come back come here and check when look at a tiger here yes a tiger here will be an example of animals that give birth to their young alive and uh, then i uh, check the uh, humans yes you can see uh, and then a, t a dog here we're going to see very many animals that can give birth to young alive those animals can be called we can call them viviparous animals so you can simply look at examples here. Uh, examples of animals. Yes, so uh, from the animals we had there, yes, we can check, can say that uh, we have humans. This is a very important example. Okay, yeah. Uh, still, we, ca we have seen animals like uh, dogs, dogs, okay, dogs. We can look at a uh, tiger, okay, yes. Uh, check there, okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, we can clean this, make a uh, right, right. I can just simply write as a just single letter, single G, the tiger. Uh, yes, check uh, for animals that are, are viviparous, simple to understand them. Uh, check on the mammals, it becomes very clear, okay? If you mention any mammal, yeah, this is going to be easy for you. Remember, with mammals, exclude the egg laying mammals, okay? Like a duck bd platypus, yes, the spine ant eaters. Those ones, they lay eggs, okay? So those are egg-laying mammals. So mention all mammals here. That will be good examples of viparous animals. Yes, talk about goats. Common animals around us, okay? Goats, rabbits. Uh, yes, bring. Yes, cheetah. Uh, a chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. Very many animals bring giraffe. Okay? Yeah, very many examples we can give. Yes. So to make this easy for us to understand, we can simply mention all mammals. Okay? Apart from the egg-laying mammals. Yes. So we can now move the second reproductive mode of animals. This will be now part B. We can take this Yes, these are grouped as viviparous or viviparous animals. Sorry, viviparous, the one which give birth, then we can go B, uh, will be oviparous. Good. Oviparous, okay. Animals classified as oviparous, uh, these animals lay eggs, okay, different from the mammals which give birth young alive. For these animals, they lay eggs. Different animals lay eggs, okay? 
But I can first define this. So you can say I refer as animals, animals, animals that produce by laying eggs. I produce by laying eggs. Okay? Yes. Uh, in our localities, we find that our, the different animals, yes, we can, which you can look at, and uh, just from here, we can still check here. Uh, you've seen, you can see here a snake, okay? These are eggs, okay? Uh, if you come here, look at a frog here, these are eggs, which hatch into young ones. Uh, look at a hen. Yes, I know you have, uh, you might be having hens around you in your homes there. Yes, this are eggs which hatch into chicks. Yeah, so we can look at examples of oviparous animals. Examples. Okay. Uh, of oviparous animals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, simply we said that uh, we, with these animals, they lay eggs. Yeah, look at, uh, to make it easy for us, you can look at uh, animals uh, from our uh, subgroups of animals there, which we class for last time. We can say uh, animals like amphibians. Yes, all amphibians. They lay eggs. Go to reptiles, reptiles, find they lay eggs. Okay, Though some reptiles and some amphibians shall find them uh, in another group, but majorly you can classify uh, amphibians, uh, reptiles, and then uh, come to birds. Yes, most of them, they lay eggs. It has come here, like, um, uh, yes, you can mention any bird. You can say, look at the eagles. Uh, mention the hawks. Okay. Uh, uh, very many birds come, look at home. Look, look at, let's talk about ducks. Talk about hens. Yes. Uh, yes, turkeys, uh, different birds. Come to uh, the reptiles. Yes, we have seen snakes. We have seen snakes that uh, lay eggs. That they lay eggs. Though we shall see some classes, okay, which do not lay eggs directly. Oh yeah, we shall see a different class. Talk about other reptiles like the crocodile. Crocodile. Yes. Talk about the lizards. Uh, yeah. All reptiles, yeah, classify them simply in oviparous. That's easy for us. Uh, come to amphibians like uh, like uh, newts. Okay, toads, frogs, and salamander. And salamander. Yes. You can simply see that here we try to talk about uh, birds. Yeah, majorly birds lay eggs. Come here, we brought about uh, the uh, reptiles. Yes, lay eggs. Come this head, uh, having the amphibians. All these animals lay eggs. We can call them oviparous animals. That helps us to classify animals easily. Yes, uh, we can uh, simply see uh, the third part, okay? Uh, if you don't mind, we can clean here. We have looked at the these two reproductive modes, that is uh, viparous and oviparous. The third one here, yes, that is part C. We have some uh, animals where you find that uh, the fertilized eggs hatch inside the body and remain there for protection or for development. Those animals, uh, we can group them as ovoviparous. Ovoviparous. Yes, so animals are that are called oviparous here. These are animals uh, that are uh, half are, for them actually, it's first we understand, is that uh, the, their eggs hatch inside the body, okay, and then remain there for development. Because majorly you find that uh, they also for the they are soft shells, so this, and their eggs are not hatched, like those of, those of the, uh, the, the, the oviparous, which have got hard shells. So the remains of the body, these eggs, and it hatch from there. So you can say, uh, ovipar of oviparous animals, these ones are animals, 
animals uh, whose fertilized eggs fertilized eggs hatch inside their body very good yes so in these animals the eggs hatch inside the body and then now uh, these eggs, okay, these fertilized eggs remain inside the body and hatch from there. Majorly, you find that, uh, or see if you can say, they find that because of uh, soft shells, not like those of the, uh, the, the those of the oviparas, which, which have got hard shells. Yes? So you can look at the examples of these animals. Uh, they are like, uh, see? Examples. Examples of of viviparous animals. Okay? Yeah. Uh, simply, a uh, common example here, we can uh, check. Go, you can go back to reptiles. Some reptiles, yes, uh, they lay eggs and others, the eggs hatch inside the body. Okay? Uh, that's why we simply say some snakes, not all snakes that are that they lay eggs. Some of them, their eggs hatch inside the body. Yes, and then you have uh, the young one. Okay, later. That's so we can see here, these are majorly a class of snakes, can call them uh, um, uh, the viper. Okay, yes. A viper is a good example of, of viparous animals. Uh, if you go on here, uh, other animals, okay, uh, okay, chameleons. Can also group them under viviparous animals. Uh, look at uh, some fish. Yes, also in fish can look at uh, like sharks. Okay, sharks also. Yes, their eggs hatch inside the body, and then we we'll just have the young one later. Yes, and then uh, if you check, uh, yes, insects. You have some insects like cecaflies. Uh, okay, cecaflies. Uh -huh. You see that, uh, yes, it's the first stage is done within the east abdomen. This becomes an example of oviparous animals. Yeah, so they're different animals, but we shall go on. Actually, as we move on, we shall be uh, meeting different examples. But for now, we can have this. Yes, yes, to make it easy now, as we, we, we close this part of classifying animals, basing on ovipar, uh, basing on productive modes, we said that uh, there are majorly three productive modes. Where we have, or well, we had the first one as viparous. Viparous meaning uh, uh, giving birth to young ones, okay? Or oh, yes, which is sometimes also called viviparity. Uh, viviparity. Coming to the second part was the oviparous, okay? Viparous animals, for them, they lay eggs, okay? And those eggs hatch at a later time, like to check off the hens, the ducks, different birds, okay? Yes, and last to end with the the oviparous animals. Oviparous animals, we say they are. these animals, the eggs hatch inside the body. Simply, why they remain the body majorly? You find that the eggs have got soft shells, not different from those of the birds, those of the reptiles, those of hard shells. So here, that these eggs remain in the body for protection and then develop from there. So uh, we can now move on uh, to the second part, okay? Uh, okay, yes. Uh, so we have actually properly now answered our questions here. We have tried to answer uh, yes, we've answered this number of those which are eggs. Look at this. Uh, yes, we have uh, yes, we have ended with these mods of production. That's good. Yeah, we can move on. Yes, and uh, this marks the end of our actually animal classification. Yes, so we classified animals majorly. Uh, last time, check, we began with uh, classifying basing on the backbones. We went classifying basing on the feeding modes. We looked at uh, basing on the uh, locomotion modes. Okay, yes. Uh, and then uh, today we had to cover uh, classifying basing on uh, the productive modes. So this uh, marks the end of uh, animal classifications. Okay, for now, then we can simply at least check ourselves. Uh, with different exercises, yes? 
Yeah, so yes, you can have this. I, in your free time, you can do this. Check on these questions you ask. Uh, do this review exercise in your class exercise book. Check on this. Here we are asked animals, like for example, we are asked uh, animals having backbones are uh, called dash. Yes, from this, you can simply have the answer. Uh, you'll be having uh, this. Make sure you go through. Yes, is the time. Yes, go to number two. Uh, answer this in your free time. We have had with all of these in our activities. Yes, uh, we can still move. Uh huh. Yes, so we have had of this. You can still move. Uh, yes, check on this uh, grouping of this and then uh, simply match. You have looked at this. Okay, yes. Uh, just check ourselves still. Yeah, we defined vertebrates. We looked at the major five. Because of vertebrates, we have seen uh, reptiles. Yes, good. Number four, I've seen about the, about the fish. Uh, and then as we go on here, uh, okay, yes, check, check through all this. Uh, this is an activity uh, which can help you, uh, yes, have your more vision. I think uh, we can handle together, this part together, okay? Uh, yes, you I can also, these days, yes, make sure that uh, you really understand this, this work properly because we are given different ways. Actually, or you can be asked in different forms, and this time, uh, you can be asked in the form of a puzzle. Yes, you can look at this together. Uh, yes, you ask here to check, complete the crossed puzzle using uh, the clues below. So you are given a clue here, okay? We want to see how we can simply answer, yes? Following using a puzzle. Uh, for the puzzle, it's quite easy, just a understanding how we can uh, simply go by this. Uh, if we give, give an example here. We asked it, uh, okay, look at three here, and come a diagram here on the puzzle, number three. So we asked animals that eat grass, okay, yes, eat grass, leaves, fruits, vegetation, okay, and that's, yes. So simply here, uh, we can ask together here, if you would answer this, uh, check here. Uh, from here, you see number three, this gives us all this row we can answer this so from this which one word for these animals okay animals that eat grass leaves and last time here we simply said these are we can say these are herbivores okay so we can simply fill in here yes uh, and then uh, uh, we can check on the next number here we are given another one yes animals that feed on other animals yes this is number five. Uh, if you have to check here, yes, animals that feed on other animals, okay? We, these animals are called carnivores. So simply you can fill in a, just for each box a single letter. Yes? Yes, uh, yes. So we've given more, okay? You can check. Now look at this down. Yes, number one. Animals having a backbone, okay? Yes, if you check here, what name is given to animals that have backbone? Simply, uh, yes, we say these animals are called vertebrates. So you can simply fill in it. Remember we say that uh, to fill in the puzzle here, for this case, yes. Yeah, you just, you make sure that uh, each letter in each box. Uh, the best, more, main thing here is to understand, okay, uh, how getting one word for a group of words here, uh, the specific word. Let us check here. We asked animals that eat grains. Okay? Yes. Simply check. This is number two. Yeah? We can check. Uh, yes. Check on grain eaters. Once you fill the word and the word is not filled in, it may be the word might be, it might be two in two forms. Like here, you have grain eaters or grainivores. So, yes. Fill in. And then see. One of the two will fill in there. And that will be actually good. Yes. Uh, Next number here, which you also given to check on the puzzle, uh, vertebrates, we are saying, vertebrates having hair or fur on their bodies. Yes. Uh, last time we looked at different classes of vertebrates. So this reminds us. Then we check which class of vertebrates has got, uh, okay, let's say hair on, it, on their bodies or fur. These are simply mammals. So come to the chart, come to the puzzle, 
and check where number four is. Yes, simply mammals. If you check here, yes, put here, right in here, and that would be simply uh, exactly the right thing. Yes, uh, this is good, and this brings us to the conclusion. We come to the end of our topic, our lesson today. So please find time, be checking. As we end our lesson today, you will see that uh, we classified. Yes? Yeah. We made, we looked at the first classification of animals that was all based on the backbone, uh, where we looked at different animals. Then from there, we went ahead, classified animals based on the feeding modes. Yes, we continued. Uh, we looked at animals based on the breathing modes. Yes? Yeah. We also went on looking at uh, the movement, the locomotion modes, and then we had to end with animals, uh, yes, basing on the reproductive modes. So, so all those ones, they give actually a clear identification of animals in different groups. And uh, for now, we can end here. And uh, I thank you, yes, for being with us here, yes, following our programs, and I wish you the best. Thank you.